there. I hope that you are doing great today and welcome to this ASMR session. Probably, but not necessarily, more tailored towards men. And here we're going to include some ASMR triggers that men will probably enjoy just a little bit more than girls. Not to say that if you're a girl and you're watching and you want some triggers and you enjoy a certain things, building things, things that people may consider to be a little bit more manly. So with me here is quite a large selection of items, uh, different boxes that I have, and I have my big toolbox filled up with all sorts of tools and everything, which are great for different triggers and tingles. And then I have another box, which is my power drill box, and this is what I would use should I need to do something uh, throughout the house, sort of minor repairs or be creative, you know, that sort of thing. And then I've also got, well that contains my drill, and uh, the parts that go with it, and then in the smaller box of all the intricate, very tingly drill bits that come with it. So if you like building DIY, things like that, of that nature, for me it's part of that creative thing, so when I'm doing something like that, building something, or anything of that nature, it's relaxing. It's like just a form of model making, I suppose, or building a Lego set. It has those relaxing elements in it. So we're going to go through the whole lot and we're going to get as many tingles as we possibly can. I'm going to show you, I'm going to make the sound, I'm going to get you triggered and for you to enjoy this whole manly themed ASMR. So we need to add to the collection for ones that are steered towards males this time. And I know that you could argue that shaves and barbershop properties are very popular and great for men, but who cares if we like DIY things and tools and things of that nature and being creative. It's in our nature. So perhaps you're a man and you're looking for something which is building related and tools and things like that and you enjoy ASMR, then hopefully this is one to enjoy, tingle and add to your collection arsenal, ASMR, arsenal etc. And if you're female then add it yours as well, that's great. Okay. No male themed type of ASMR video is complete without a toolbox. Now before we take this to our tingle table to really delve in as to what's inside, uh, this is toolbox which I've collected uh, many different things which uh, I've used for building certain things throughout uh, the years and it's ended up being quite uh, a weighty piece but I've had this for years probably when I was a kid uh, before I even had tools but inside is filled with different tools tingly bits and what every guy would like. Uh, this is filled up with nails which I was using uh, when I was boarding up my first studio and insulating it. And it has all those bits in it and hacksaws and files and all those greater things. This is where all the delicate and intricate type of nails and everything else are kept in the top parts. So these I'm sure will make some nice tingly ASMR triggers. And 
but we'll switch between this at the top here and we'll look inside the contents of the toolbox here and we'll switch between the two as we go along so we kind of trick your ASMR senses and so you don't expect anything okay so this is the toolbox it's it's been well used well loved when I was a kid, I used to store all my models in there and all those good things. Yeah, model paints, brushes, but now it's a proper toolbox for proper building and DIY things. So, let me just open the top of there. In here, we have a nice collection different size now. So now this is what I love about toolboxes is that the top part always has everything methodically um, placed and positioned so it's all I don't know it's all tidy and clean and that satisfies my I don't know my slight OCD I suppose of nails and all make different sounds and these have been used for various projects and sometimes if I see that I might need some then I'll just buy them anyway because I like just popping them in in the toolbox and sorting them out but you don't know whenever you need nails and different size heads and thicknesses and lengths and everything so if this one here, if you might be able to see it, I'm not entirely sure if you will. But this is a rivet now, so you'll probably see the rivet gun shortly. Or if you've seen it already, pop that long bit in there. And when you pull together the, the thing, the rivet, what would you call it, riveter, then it squashes this down and rivets it in and then the final bit it would chop off and cut the end of the nail here. So I'm kind of running a little bit low on that. So these are galvanized nails. These are more for outdoor use and weatherproof and weatherproof. fully neglected your right hand will be getting to that side don't you worry so all these nails make really really good sounds I don't know something satisfying about building things and stuff and something very
this is a metal piece of plastic handles and a great for rivetry popping the rivets in and doing it mechanically obviously there is another form of riveting which you would do on steam engines and boats like the titanic for example and mm -hmm. you would put the rivet bolts in and heat it up to melting point almost temperature um, and then bash it in and create a head around the top and there you'll pass your rivet form to either side of the sheet of metal miscellaneous drill bits which all are different sizes and perfect for the drill which you'll see shortly but these are always very nicely textured and mind you of lollipops very manly I know but um, I have a collection of miscellaneous ones in it so it would light up uh, a Star Wars poster which I had and I needed um, a saw which can cut good lines down because I didn't use a band saw or anything like that and I thought I'll just do it by hand and it was accurate enough with a jig
many different types of things that you think, oh yeah, that's just a swarm or something like that. Which when you start using it for ASMR purposes and then being delicate with how you create the sound with it, then it starts making some pretty great interesting triggers which These are parts for one of those adjustable small screws, probably uh, things you like those not so great tools that you get, but it has those interchangeable magnetic pieces on the end. And these are my batteries, strangely enough. weighted which is pretty good. You wouldn't expect them to be. <laughs> but that's something you'd guarantee to lose so that's why they're there sorted in my tool. are quite similar in weight but the fundamental difference is this one is a lot when you were looking more for modern hammer so it has some flexibility rubberized hammer on the top here and here so when you're hammering all the vibrations and the resistance will be soaked up by the handle as opposed to going directly into your hand and shaking up your hand and it burns and then this one is the more sort of risque hammer and it looks like the head's just about to fall off so this is just put together like an axe or something and to chop the wood up and then it's slotted in there on the front like so but this has been well loved and used so it's, it looks like it could come off at any moment but still because it's a relic and because it's authentic and good looking uh, I can't bring myself to get rid of it and it still serves the purpose of being a great hammer it's just good to have two. So these are my two hammers. This one is a lot more weighted in the handle, whereas this is very top heavy. And it depends on what kind of things you want. This would be probably more indoor things. Uh, this would probably be more heavy duty outdoor hammering. But let's make some sounds with it now. Okay.
hammers, blacksmithing, and all those type of things because it's sword related. Um, I feel like that's probably something I wouldn't have done in my past life, um, being a blacksmith, perhaps um, with a nice big anvil and greeting swords. There's something about it uh, with the heating up the metal and then greeting a sword with just hammers and then other techniques. Something which I would uh, love to do. But if you look on my Instagram, which is in the description, uh, there's an appropriate picture uh, to me, as you'll probably uh, you'll find it and see what I mean. Okay, so there's my hammers. Sounds very satisfying and a lot more tingly than I previously thought it would. and them so they make very different but kind of a tingly tingly noise to me that's that's very nice so something which is always exceptionally handy is a small clamp and I think this is my smallest one. 
this was primarily for small bits of timber and I think maybe when I was doing the Thor costume as well but one of those things which is small and delicate and so I'll just show you this, I'm not entirely sure why I've got the list of tools in Victoria's Secret bag. Still. Inside. these tiny things which you'll always end up losing so they're in my toolbox and these dangly bits on them so 
so you screw it in and then put the string either across and connect them in the middle or just hang them on both uh, picture frames or mirrors or something usually the galvanized versions are a little bit This would be the accessory for the drill, and this is the essential. Something like this. There you go, Mr. Bond. Yes. Wish money back. Okay. So. This is the, I think, probably my favorite bit. There's something incredibly satisfying about all of these drill bits being nicely sorted and uniformly next to each other. So if we take some out for different sounds. So these are drill bits and this will drill a hole.
all these you can hope to do a drill. So make it the designated hole that you want to drill. So Got a big piece.
which is kind of important for accuracy uh, if you're planning on doing any DIY and this is a nice hard wearing one with durable materials still yeah, it's a nice one I'll try to look after everything uh, so it all looks quite pristine and you can see how much of a builder I am not too much just the occasional jobs and should you wish to drill a decent size hole James Bond. So, I hope that you enjoyed our little manly ASMR session filled with sort of torn DIY type triggers. I think my favorite thing, just sort of flicking, switching. This is like the, the ultimate fidget cube thing uh, with all those clicky bits. I way prefer this and just those little cute things. I'd rather just take this round and uh, fidget with it and make things click, make noises, push it back. There we go, pop the light on, etc. etc. Um, but yeah, hopefully, there were some tools and items in there which were manly enough for you to tingle and unexpected and bought you those unexpected tingles because. Those unexpected tingles are always the best tingles. So it was filled with all those things that perhaps you've got yourself and you don't really see them in an ASMR way, but now we've used them in an ASMR way. And the combination of visuals and sounds and everything has done its job and triggered you and helped you feel manly, strong and was tingly and relaxed. Very two different things on the spectrum there. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for all your comments and everything on my last reading this gentleman video. I have a couple of role plays uh, popping up. I've never said it before, but costumes are starting to come through now, and I'm very excited for filming those for you. As I know that uh, you love role plays and there's been infinite amounts of requests for certain ones, so there'd be two coming out uh, recently, not four, <laughs> just two, what I'm afraid. To be honest, I didn't even expect to get tingles out of the objects, but whilst we were doing it, I felt it quite relaxed and good, so I hope that I've conveyed that onto you, and we kept it nice and interesting switching between the tingle table and coming up and then 
and showing you something. And I just wanted to create a format which is unconventional and gives you tingles there. And it's on there, and then we'll put back on the table again. So there's a variety of manly goodness for you. Okay. I've jabbled, jabbled. I've talked for too long now. So I hope you enjoyed this. Take care of yourself.